Hi everyone, today I would like to give you a short update on my open world project in Gorod. Um, this is what we see now, the most current version of the game, which is running pretty good on decent 70 to 100 frames per second with multiple biomes and multiple foliages per biome with a view distance of 8 kilometers. Um, the entire map scale is capped right now at 30 kilometers, so we have a pretty big world mass to play with. Um, here we just ran from the temporal or temperate forest, actually, yeah, temperate, temperate forest to the swamp biome, and as we see, um, we have multiple LODs for for the for the foliage, for the trees. Um, right now we can also see that the automatic LOD system of Godot is not working properly. Um, I guess I just have to turn it off. Um, so yeah, let's fly around. Let's check out the scale of everything. So here we can see the scale of a small town, small village. It's just some assets, I've just put it in, just to compare how big everything actually is. Um, new in, in this version is the, the zoom functionality, it was capped at 30, something like that. Now it's capped at 1.5 kilometers, so we can zoom pretty far out and we can even see the, the clouds. I think that's a pretty cool view. And it just shows how performant everything is for now. Um, yeah, we can we can switch biomes just by pressing a tab key, um, or actually completely location. You can see it here in the right corner. We are now at minus five thousand, minus thirteen thousand, fourteen almost, and we can just switch instantly without any loading screens, any nothing. So yeah, that's pretty fast. Um, new in this version is the entire foliage system. I have reworked it to get a pretty decent frame rate like we have it right now. I mean, we have a lot, a lot of trees, a lot of tree variants. And that was actually pretty hard to do. I'm not entirely happy with the performance for now, but yeah, we, we're gonna see what uh, Godot 4.0 4.4 is um, hiding in its multi-mesh system. Um, here I'm using the uh, multi-mesh from 4.3 and I have optimized it myself and uh, what I'm doing here is I'm actually only displaying the visible trees. Um, I can demonstrate it to you. For example, we have this tree where there is the the shadow visible and as soon as it moves out of our view it's just cult so that's my active culling system that i wrote and that's normally not built in into the multi mesh but what i have read is that the 4.4 version of godot they have built it in i guess so we're gonna test it out i guess next week or in two weeks or something like that here you can see how the multi-mesh is actively working. Um, I've built in three LOD systems and as you can see here, it is determining the distance to the camera and switching the LODs on or off depending how far the multi-mesh is from your camera. That's for LOD 2 and LOD 1. As soon as, the, as, as soon as the LOD2 is on, it is also calculating the distance and the angle, the field of view of the camera. So only in the LOD0 and LOD1, we have only the meshes active, which are actually visible. So let's say we're looking this direction, all of the meshes behind us are actually not added into the multi-mesh. This is an active culling 
Um, here you can see pretty good again with the shadows since we have uh, a pretty low sun. Let me turn the clouds off. Uh, you can really actively see how it's switched on or off. Yeah. So that's almost it. Um, programming the, the new foliage system, like technique-wise coding, took me only one day and one day of debugging. Um, setting up all of these foliages, this, this was the biggest time killer. I mean, every biome has at least two kinds of, of trees, like we have here in this case, one and two. Um, so I had to rewrite some of the leaf shaders, rewrite some of the trunk shaders. Um, also we have some grass shaders I had to rewrite. And we also have two kinds here, one and two. Um, let's not forget that, that there are also shaders for the LOD 1 and 2 versions, um, which I actually didn't perfectly align with the colors so let me find a better case here showcase um, here so the LODs in the distance don't match perfectly with the color with the LODs which are up close and that was a big big time consumer here um, took me at least like only only working on on this this color color stuff took me at least two days at least it was horrible because I'm a programmer I love coding um, this is just playing with with a color palette um, and playing around with that I, I actually don't like that uh, I prefer coding it's something which is more worth my time I would say <laughs> Um, yeah, but the end result for now, I I just love it. I I love how the biomes just melt into each other, just depending on the temperature. Here we have the heat and the moisture level, and it's just evaluating which biome should be on. Like here, for example, this is a swamp biome next to the to the boreal forest biome, and since we are. Um, I guess somewhere in the north. Um, yeah, I, I really love this project. It is just growing, growing really nicely. Um, I hope to finish this weekend even uh, first person controller or something like that. So, so we can actually run around here. That would be really nice. Um, yeah. So. I think that's it for this week um have a nice one if you would like to subscribe do it i'm not holding you back i would be really happy if you do so since i want this channel to grow and show off more of this stuff leave a like leave a comment um bye